Tell me about yourself. I'm 35, single, no kids, but want them. I'm a nice guy and I have a decent job. I treat you right. I'd like to hang out. <laughs> Why is it so blunt? Oh my god. Um, I do not want kids and I have zero. Hope you have a great day. Wow, a biatch. <laughs> wow, a lovely nice guy. Were you lying when you said you were a nice guy? Oh my god, you wouldn't do such a thing, would you? They didn't even say anything bad. <laughs> oh, I love this subreddit so much. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning back in. And welcome to some more crazy nice guys. The gentlemen that will treat you right and be the man of your dreams and give you everything you've always wanted. Yeah, they're not the people that we're going to be reading about today. Guys, it's so early in the morning right now. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful way to start the day. Thank you all so much for all your support. I'm really glad that everybody enjoyed the collab video I did with Zach. It was so much fun to do bad women's anatomy with him. And yeah, it makes me happy that everybody enjoyed it as much as I did. Alright, strap yourselves in guys. It's nice guy time. We all had our first kiss at 13 or 14. I'm 22. Hasn't happened yet. Oh, that's a rip in the chat. It's a big rip, lol. Hard to get to that point when you females don't appreciate the things that we try to do for you. <laughs> you females don't appreciate good guys. <laughs> yeah, what a load of hooey. That's not what's going on here, bro. If you're genuinely a good person and like somebody doesn't want anything to do with you, then you don't worry about it and you move on. But I get the feeling that these sorts of guys aren't actually very nice and probably shouldn't be so quick to blame all the females when it's probably something that they did. Okay, this next one says, a guy Facebook stalks me for six years after having one community community college class with me. Oh my god. I hope you do read this because it comes from my heart and I do mean my heart. I thought of what to say as well. Since I don't want you to like block me or anything like that, here it goes. You would think that I would have forgotten about you, but I never could. I'm glad you're on Facebook because it gave me a chance to see who you really are. And the moment I saw your new pictures of you, oh my heart skipped a beat like never before. I still find you to be so beautiful and I hope you take that as a compliment since I don't want you to block me but to accept the friendship so we can finally get to know each other regardless of our age. I'm glad that you chose to go into the Navy but I just hope that you never have to see a real war or you would never be the same person at all. So I hope we can chat because I'm a nice person and we both have a lot of things in common. Like we both like Disney, we both like Harry Potter and a lot more. I I like how you enjoy getting dressed up and having a fun time. What I like the most is how you enjoy being a zombie that was neat to see. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm into that as well. So I hope we can chat sometime. I really do because it would mean the world to me for us to get to know each other. I said what I said in the last email because I meant it. Why are you ignoring me in the first place? For crying out loud, can't a person be crazy about you all this time? I am and I want us to talk. Oh my god, you can't force someone to like you, dude. I see that you either read it since every time I request you to add me as a friend, you deny me still. What's wrong with you? Can't you tell what a guy really, truly wants to get to know you after all this time? Oh, and maybe they don't want to know you. When he's telling you the truth about his feelings for you, give me a break. It's been since 2011 when I last saw you, and I was hoping this time we can actually get to know each other. This ignoring is childish and very annoying. Oh, take a hint. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Oh, great hookup. You really know how to pick a guy. Yuck. I'm sure he'll be a great boyfriend. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, and you think you would <laughs> while you're saying stuff like this. This is crazy. Bro, I'm scared right now. Now you made it not to go to the other folder. Well, not sure if you care to have read the other messages. 
is, but you sure do know how to pick a winner in a guy. I bet you they don't even know who the guy is, but because it's not them, they're automatically a bad guy. They're probably a good person. Here I was trying to tell you how I still like you. And you go and meet this SN, see his Facebook, not impressed one bit. I'm sure you and him have a lot in common and it looks like he's a dad. You're like what, ready to be a stepmom? You know, if you only gave me a chance in the world, you would have seen how I would have liked you a lot and cared for you and been a lot of a better boyfriend than that guy. Nope, instead you ignore me all this time. So good luck, I'm sure you and him will work out fine. Jeez, you could have done better. Oh, <laughs> that was a roller coaster. The lack of self-awareness. Oh my God. How do guys talk about how good of a person they're going to be while they're showing how rude they are? All of that was so rude. If somebody gets in a relationship, you don't message them and talk crap about their partner. That just makes you look bad. <laughs> oh my. Nice guy cancels our original plans and the backup plan, offers a massage instead, then gets mad when I choose to continue with our original plans by myself. Imagine thinking that a massage is a good idea. <laughs> I want to really help you out of the kindness of my heart. <laughs> Let me massage your body. Would be nice to chill with you. Surprised that you turned down a massage and to see me honestly. Oh no, you can't be surprised that somebody doesn't want a massage. <laughs> it's a bit intimate, don't you think? Well, I agree to the hike idea because I actually wanted to do it and I still want to. I was looking forward to it. Oh, cool. Have fun. Okay. I feel crappy. I didn't think it would take me an hour to get to my second option. It's a 10 minute drive, but a one hour bus ride. I really wanted to see you. I'm exhausted and stressed. Just wanted to hold you and have a laugh, but I don't have the energy for more bus rides today. It's all I do. I've been constantly running around the last two weeks. Sorry. If this messed things up, I'm sorry. I reacted a bit crappy to you preferring a hike alone over seeing me. Felt like a slap in my face. So I'm not thrilled about that. Well, I appreciate the apology. That was nice. It wasn't meant to be a slap in your face, but there was a miscommunication. But yeah, this experience was a turn off for me. So I think this is where we go our separate ways. Oh, wow. You're not the person I thought you were. Go and frick yourself. Were they ever claiming to be a nice guy? Or are they just not a nice guy? guy, but they know that they're not a nice guy. It all seems to come down to how they handle rejection though. That's the common thing between all of these people. They just can't handle it. Like they can't just be like, oh, okay, no worries. They have to just go off at them. Women are awful in brackets people. I think we've already found the issue here. You don't even view women as people. Do not comment. This is just a rant. Oh, women are honestly awful in every sense of the word. They're literally programmed to be cruel to men that they don't view as alpha. It's just basic biology. They see through themselves at the most dominant men they can find because they want to breed with him. I think they might enjoy being, you know, watered to some extent. They have this warped view that they can find a man who's aggressive to everyone else, but soft and gentle to them. No, you idiot, he's going to hit you, but that's probably what you want because you like being submissive to him. What world is this guy on? I'm not judging, it's just nature at the end of the day. Why are you just assuming that all other guys are bad? Like, yeah, there's some crappy guys, but there's some crappy people, dude. And assuming that women enjoy guys that treat them bad. No! <laughs> then there are men like me who serve no purpose being alive and don't stand a chance. I guess I'm a beta, or whatever you want to call it. Someone doomed to find the friend zone because I've lost the genetic lottery. No! <laughs> I don't blame women. I mean, I wouldn't date me. I possess no good traits. I still hate women though for how stupid and enslaved to nature they are. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm just gonna, you know what, and I hope everyone will forget me. Well, I hope you're not serious. But that's just such a bad attitude. You know, like a lot of the people that we read about, they think that they're perfect and they don't need to change ever. Person does not have that problem, but they're too far the other way. Yeah, I really hope you work that out, dude. Random guys on Facebook saying that I'm going through a breakup. So when do I get to take you out? Me, who's already tired of 30 guys asking me out in less than a week after my breakup. That's the neat part. You don't. <laughs> yeah, and it's also pretty shady to just sort of close 
buzz in on somebody as soon as they break up with someone. It almost comes off as like manipulative, you know, because it's like, oh, well, she's going to be vulnerable and she's going to need a shoulder to cry on. And if I swoop in, maybe she'll end up dating me. Not everyone, obviously, but I think a lot of people have pretty bad intentions with that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, you broke up with your partner. I guess I'm next in line. No, no, no. You see, we actually have to like each other and it probably love each other. When will my lady choose me? Why don't girls respect you when you're nice or kind? Isn't it worthy of appreciation? Being a decent human being to others should be your default. You don't get rewards for absolute minimum. Really? I've noticed that being a jerk turns them on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was bullcrap at first, but it's actually true. Yeah, if the person you're talking to is immature and doesn't respect herself, but that isn't exactly the kind of person I want to stick my you-know-what in. That is true about the immature thing, though. There are definitely people like that. They're not the people that you're gonna want to date anyway, but I don't think being a jerk turns women on. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've read all week. Tips for Dora. Milady, do you possess Instagram or Snapchat? If you do, may I have the honor of having your at and private messaging you? <laughs> no way, that's a chad. 100%. Nobody actually says tips fedora. Milady gets down on knees. There's way too many nice guy neckbeard references. Okay, LMAO. Sorry, I'm not six foot three with green eyes and a sharp mother flipping jawline. I was only being nice. You're not even that cute. Don't be full of yourself because lying isn't good. All I said was okay. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry that I'm not six foot three and gorgeous. Nobody even mentioned anything like that. <laughs> this sounds like a you problem. When you hold the door and tip your fedora but her clothes stay on, angry neck beard noises. Like, oh, why? Life is not fair. I'm sorry I'm not six foot three and blonde and beautiful with blue eyes and a sharp mother flipping jawline. Like, I was nice to you. I opened the door for you. I tipped my fedora to you. And you won't sleep with me? Oh my god, what has come of the world? It doesn't hurt to give a nice guy a chance. Maybe I can prove to you that life isn't as boring as it looks. I'm five foot nine, by the way. Yeah, I think we need to do like a course or something for Tinder bios. We read so many bad ones. Like they're not even saying anything about themselves. They're just like, oh, it wouldn't have hurt if you gave me a chance. They don't know that. Right out of the gate, they're already upset. Hi? Hello? Excuse me? Oh, fine then, you dumb BR. Tricky you. You were ugly anyway. Girls like you never appreciate a real nice guy like me. Trick you and end yourself, you dumb you know what. You texted me at 2am. What the hell? My friend texted that. He had my phone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure he did. All right, guys, I've had enough nice guys for today. Let's wash all of this away with some wholesome memes. When you see your best friend for the first time in a long time, yeah, how nice is that? And it's like you never even left each other. Oh, friends forever, how cute. When mum asks you to take the groceries in, <laughs> yeah, and you do like a one trip, but you take like 40 bags. I've been doing lots of squats, I can handle this. You like can't even fit through the door. Earning money so that I can become rich. Earning money to give my mum the things that she never had. Oh, that's so nice. And how rewarding would that be? Just giving back. That's so nice. Guys, I can't even remember the nice guys today. That was beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. I make videos all the time and I'm sure you're going to enjoy my next one. Okay, today's comment of the day goes to vintage camera girl. A true alpha is actually a grandma with a handbag full of snacks, a first aid kit, and stories to make every situation better. Oh, 100%. You know, like that alpha beta stuff seems like so ridiculous most of the time. But if there's a real alpha, <laughs> it's grandmas. All right, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with more fun videos. I'll see you then.